Our planet is home to some incredible natural carbon stores, but there's one ecosystem that often gets overlooked. Hidden beneath the waves is a humble habitat that could be critical in the fight against climate breakdown. For thousands of years, seagrass has helped humans survive. It's protected our shorelines from storms and floods, purified our coastal waters, and supported the fish populations that millions of people rely on. But today, we might need seagrass more than ever before. This amazing marine plant, whose blades form dense meadows along the shallow waters of our coasts, is highly efficient at absorbing carbon, transporting it down its deep roots, and trapping it below ground for thousands of years. Up to 18% of the world's oceanic carbon is stored in the leaves, roots and sediments of seagrass meadows. And this wonder plant can absorb carbon 35 times as fast as tropical forests. But like many of our planet's fragile ecosystems, seagrass beds are at risk. Coastal development, pollution, warming seas and destructive fishing practices have left our unlikely allies in the fight against climate breakdown in a perilous state. Almost 30% of all seagrass known to exist at the start of the 20th century has disappeared. And every half an hour, a seagrass meadow the size of a football pitch is lost. In Wales, WWF and Sky Ocean Rescue have been working with experts at Swansea University on a landmark seagrass restoration project. Hundreds of volunteers have been collecting and planting thousands of seagrass seeds along the shallow sea floor, helping to turn the tide on seagrass's rapid decline. Planting uh, seagrass seeds uh, isn't simple because you need to, to plant uh, them in the winter. And it's February, it's been windy, we've had hail, we've had a bit of sleet, but we've had an amazing, resilient bunch of uh, people helping us. All sorts of people coming to join and contribute to this major first seagrass restoration project in the UK. You might be wondering why we're not hearing more about this amazing plant. Some put this down to seagrass's charisma problem. But while it may not display the dazzling colours of a coral reef, its humble appearance can be deceptive. Scientists continually rank seagrass beds as one of the most important ecosystems in our biosphere. Seagrass is amazing because what it supports is an amazing uh, wealth of animal life. It supports people's livelihoods, it supports fisheries. A single acre of seagrass meadow can host as many as 40,000 fish. And 20% of the most commercially important fish species occupy seagrass meadows at critical stages of their development. Losing this unique ecosystem would be disastrous for the millions of people who rely on fish for their livelihoods and food security. Now, more than ever, we must protect it. This one about a 500 kilometer radius, so it's a large storm too. With emergency officials fearing there is worse to come. On our current trajectory, we are set to surpass a 1.5 degree temperature rise by 2030, bringing extreme heat, sea level rise, reduced crop yields, declining fisheries and much more. In the face of extreme weather and rising food insecurity, resilient coastal ecosystems like seagrass meadows will be lifelines for millions of people. A nature-based solution that could not only help us turn the tide on climate breakdown, but also help people weather its worst impacts. The good news is that around the world, hundreds of locally run projects are working to restore and protect these amazing underwater grasslands. So our project has been um, a huge success and it sort of inspires hope that, that, that there are people who, who want to change the state of our UK seas and it's inspiring to see all those, those thousands of people part of our project. But the, the missing component really has been the, the fundamental support from government with actual fundamental change that, that, that recognises that our seas are in a, in a terrible state. And um, if we're going to fight climate change, if we're going to fight problems of food security, then we need to restore our oceans. And that involves real government support. For too long, this humble plant has been overlooked. By protecting the natural habitats that are critical in the fight against climate breakdown, we can secure a huge win for both people and planet.